Hello, today I'm going to show you how to set up Panopto recordings and some of the basics on how to use Panopto and some of the settings you'll need to know when you use it. So Panopto is going to be embedded into all of your Canvas courses and you'll be able to see it on the left hand side of any of your course navigation under Panopto recordings. Once you click that you're going to go into the, the launcher and so you'll probably have to install it or download it once you go into create. I've already have, have it downloaded of course so once you go into create, that's how you create new media for Panopto you'll go through the install process and then once you're done this screen will pop open. Here you'll have a lot of different options so on the left hand side here we have primary source and you're able to pick what is your primary video source. So right now I have my webcam as my primary video source. I can turn that off. I can select my primary audio. So right now I'm using my built-in microphone. Or I can plug in a webcam and use that as my primary video and my primary audio. Also under here is I have the option to record PowerPoint. Now what that does is once you open your PowerPoint, it automatically starts recording that. It's pretty cool because it also does timestamps for your different slides, so it's easy for your students to navigate your video based off of the different slides. Okay, that's primary source. On the right hand side, we have secondary source. So here is where you can use, on the secondary source, this is my screen. You can also have a secondary two, which could be a, a, a third screen or a second screen if you have double screens. So important that you pick what those sources are. Or if you even have multiple web cameras, you can pick different cameras that pop up here. Now, once you've picked your primary source, you make sure you have audio. If you can see here, you can see that your audio is going up and down as your voice speaks. So it is capturing your audio then you want to go ahead and make sure that you've chosen the right folder. Pretty much every time it's default the folder that you start your Panopto video in. But you want to double check to make sure that the video is going to go with that course. Now underneath is where you can name your video. So make sure to give it a name that you can find. And then go ahead and click record. Once that's done, you'll go ahead and save your video and you should be good to go. If you need some more help, I think I may go ahead and create a editing video for you so then you can learn how to do some of the basics of the editing. But let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.